What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk about Dogecoin. So we are in a little bit more of a sell-off. I do want to tentatively talk on what is causing that and prompting that. But behind the scenes, big whales are buying. So I'm going to explain what that is and how I can tell that. But before I get into any of that, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. If you like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships. Link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. One final thing I just want to share with you because it is a killer promo it is only until june the 30th if you do click on the link in the description below sign up deposit one dollar you get six free stocks i highly recommend you guys taking advantage of this but with that let's get right to it just going to start off by going over some very interesting data points so looking here we are currently down roughly about seven percent give or take rank number 10 among the coins so that's kind of maintaining itself over the last little bit eight billion for market cap and volume currently has 949 million up roughly about 50% from 24 hours prior. So I'm going to talk a little bit more in depth about the volume because looking at the volume as far as where capital is going, it is very important in the grand scheme of things. So the fact that we're selling off as much as we are, but yet the volume is up, that's definitely something that you need to watch for. In addition to that, it does appear right here of the trading activity, 72% of the activity has been buys. Very optimistic in that regard. And looking at number of merchants, this isn't necessarily any special news or anything like that. I just want to share this with you because I always find looking at this is very relevant for ingrainment in society and things like that. Right now, 2058 merchants accept Dogecoin as a form of payment. So you always need to watch that as far as the, the long-term health of it. You never want to see that start to decrease as well. And overall, looking here, technically this is the liquidation for Doge. So it shows that who is selling, whether it's a long, shorts, whatever it is, it tells everything. So right now it does appear that the longs are closing out the positions so this is very interesting so i'm going to couple that all with some technical analysis so going back to this looking at momentum indicator that shows number of buyers whether they're getting in out whatever it is you can see that down significantly so if you keep that in this is why i like to do a lot of technical analysis and go over a lot of the data points you can kind of make an equation out of this so going back to this volume significant volume increasing as well so 50 percent like i already mentioned up over the 24 Four hours prior but if you couple that with the number of buyers going down it obviously insinuates that big whales are buying so take that how you see that i'm not a financial advisor so do your own due diligence at the end of the day but given the circumstances when big money is buying the dips that definitely shows that you should be doing that as well so again, that's one of those things that unfortunately retail investors are a little bit slow to the game, especially considering all this fear was largely started by bad CPI data that did come out. But if you actually do look at the CPI data, it's not that bad. It's very largely linked to energy. So you can see that the fuel oil right here from April, you can see 2.7. It did increase to 16.9. So if you actually take out the energy components of it, CPI is actually negative on the month over month basis. So again, it's one of those things it's uh, negative per se only because largely linked to Russia and that whole situation. But at the end of the day, this is just going to blow over in one or two months. So this is why you need to take advantage of these massive sales, in my opinion, as what a lot of big money is actually doing. So take that how you see that, because I personally see all of this as a very bullish sign. Unfortunately, it's not really fair to say that it's bullish when we have gone down so much over the last little bit. But keep in mind, there has been a lot of fear out in the market. And again, fear largely brought on by the institutions and the media per se because a lot of this nothing technically fundamentally has changed about doge over the last little bit so i personally feel that cryptocurrency has been getting hit very hard and we are at a very pivotal point so doing a little bit more in-depth technical analysis yes one thing is that big money is buying but where is the bottom so i'm going to just briefly give you a projection on that so looking here i do have the 725 and 100 day moving averages boiling your bands momentum as you already know stochastic rsi so looking at stochastic rsi we are extremely oversold very very oversold in fact but yet still has a little bit more of a bearish sentiment on that number of buyers like i already mentioned is going down lower percentile of the boiling band in fact we're actually outside of that and nine times out of ten unless there's a justifiable cost 
cause for us to be outside the boiling or band, we do bounce back in. So that is as well something you need to factor in and most likely why a lot of institutions are physically buying as well. And looking more so at the four hour chart because I do like to bounce between the one four hour and the one hour as well. One day I should say, sorry, I think I did get that wrong. But on that regard, you can easily tell where the breakdown is starting to occur. So it's one of those things that unfortunately we are failing to get over that seven day moving average. We are unfortunately, there's just a lot of fear and you can even tell based on the futures for the stock market, Monday is going to be a very bad day, largely because of the feds have a lot of ammunition to raise the rates as much as they freely want to on Wednesday. So most likely there's going to be a continuation of a downtrend up until Wednesday, whether it finds a lot of strong support around the five and a half cent range that most likely will be the next step for Doge. Keep in mind, though, like I said, this is just a projection of what I feel and looking at momentum number of buyers over the last little bit on the four hour chart, it has been going down continuously. So like I said, it's a little bit more fear and, and whether it is ultimately a lot of longs closing out the positions and most likely once the data does update on this regard, it most likely will show that a lot of shorts are entering into Doge. And unfortunately, it's one of those things that I think shorts will be entering in on a lot of different equities and not necessarily just that, but the broader market as well. Because unfortunately, like I said, there is a lot of fear and most likely it does look like it's going to continue. But with all that, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Let me know your thoughts on Doge, whether you've been buying, what your average is, if you've been diamond handing it, if it is one below one cent as well, give yourself a shout out. You definitely deserve that, especially if you've been diamond handing this throughout this whole time. Bravo to you. But with all that, I appreciate you guys watching. And don't forget to take advantage of this promo link in the description below. Like I said, just sign up, deposit $1 and you get six free stocks. Very advantageous and easy to do. But with that, I appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on Doge.